Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. Um, we got a good one for you today. Finally got the odds on this uh, <clears throat> Andy Cruz fight. Uh, Andy Cruz, and I've been practicing this, uh, Brian Zamaripa, Zamaripa of Mexico. Um, interesting fight. I'm not sure why they chose this as, a, as an opponent, uh, but we're going to get into that. Before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3 Boxing, 3 Boxing Blog. Uh, the boxing book comes at you for every single major fight. So you had to consistently make money betting on this on the sport of boxing. Let's bring down the house together. There's always a bull market somewhere. Uh, the odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. Uh, I'm consistently making money every week. Also, join the Patreon. The Patreon, you get the lock of the week. That's easy money. Uh, you get. You can ask me to, to handicap any single fight, and I will handicap for you. Even if I don't do a video on it, I will. I will break it down for you. Uh, you get a free T-shirt. There's there's a, a lot to it. It's just five. It's just five dollars a month. It's just five dollars a month to join the Patreon. Put a lot of work to these videos. Let, let me pump them up for you. Uh, show some support. Five dollars a month. Also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel are dedicated to autism research and recovery. It's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Um. <clears throat> Losing my brain here. All right, let's let's get into the fight. Andy Cruz, Brian Zamarippa. Yo, know, Andy Cruz is that dude, Olympic superstar. Oh, I meant to go back and watch this fight with uh, Keyshawn. I forgot to watch it. Not that it matters. Um, he's only had two prep fights. One uh, Burgos. I thought initially watching the performance, I thought it was just eh. I watched it again. <clears throat> And I was impressed. I, I missed a lot. I, I overlooked a lot when I watched it live. I, I went and watched it again. Um, and the Burgos performance, he, he showed off a lot of the skills that I maybe overlooked watching it live. Uh, and then in the second fight with Stafford, he was absolutely incredible. Lights out, like a, a, a star-making performance. Um, and, Andy Cruz is it. It, how quickly has he moved? You know, Eddie Hearn said he wanted to fight Tank Davis for his uh, pro debut. Obviously, that was ridiculous. Um, let's get into a little bit with Andy Cruz. Yeah, I mean, I don't need to go over this with you. I mean, yeah, I'm not telling you guys anything you don't know. Excellent speed, skills, the reflexes are second to none. Great movement. Super, super sh uh, sharp with the strike right. He straight right. He also has the ability to switch southpaw. Not that I see him doing that, but he's done it a little bit. He's a great combination puncher, obviously. He throws combinations from all odd angles, all, all angles. He mixes up his punches. He judges distance as well. He can throw every single punch on the inside. There's nothing he can't do. The, the uppercuts, the hooks, the guy's got it all. I mean, he's really a gifted, well-crafted fighter. He's the power, I, I think, is is solid. I think the power is pretty good. He needs to assert himself on the front foot. Not that he he can't do it. Is that oftentimes I don't know if he has. He's only had two pro fights. If he's really uncovered his identity, he can fight out the back foot, and he does it well. But where he's really gifted, and in fighting Zamaripa, you're going to want to establish yourself off the front foot. He does his best work coming forward. Like I said, he's super sharp and twitchy, and he can sit back and counter you. But when he's really doing his best work, he's firing shots coming forward, getting on the inside. He's so sharp on the inside. Like everything is well crafted on the inside. He's super accurate with, with the uppercuts on, on the inside. From the outside, he knows how to use his jab. He can use his jab to, to keep you off of him. He can use the jab to swallow up your face. He can use his jab to get him the inside and then beat you up on the inside. He's really, really, like, the first performance, I was like, you know what? I think this might be a little bit overhyped. I watched it again. Plus the second fight, I'm fully on board with Andy Cruz being that dude. He's also obviously incredibly gifted at making you miss. Zama Reap was an interesting one. 14 and 2, five knockouts. We've seen him once on, on, on a one, I don't even want to call it a major card. It wasn't the zone card. Let me close this out. 
Angel Fierro, uh, he fought him to a, a draw. That was back uh, September of 2023. He came back three months later and fought a guy that was 8-15-2 and, and scored an eight-round knockout. How this guy knocks anyone out, I don't know. Uh, I've watched, uh, I think, three of his fights that you can find on YouTube. He can come forward or go back. He, he mostly he flicks the jab. He's got no power. He doesn't really sit down on, on his punches. He is pretty quick. What I do give him is he uses his feet well to avoid shots. He uses his angles. He pivots out of things. He's a hard guy at that level. He's not fought anyone at the level of Andy Cruz, not even close. Like we said, Angel Fierro is the best guy he's fought. But he uses his feet well to pivot out and, and not get tagged in return. He doesn't sit down on his punches. He doesn't commit to on his punches. He's not a typical Mexican fighter at all. He goes to the body from long range, which is interesting. Like he can go to the body while, um, but that's not really what he is. He's a jabber. He, he's 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 a slick. So that's not that. That's not that. I'm not saying he's slow, but he's not that quick. Where this is gonna really work for him. He gets a little wild too. He's easy to counter. Like, if you let him come forward, and this is why I think he should go backwards because he can do both, but he gets wild coming forward. And Andy Cruz is just going to light him up when he starts lunging in. I'm not sure what he's looking for. Does he want to trade on the inside or does he want to box from the outside? Either way, it's not going to go well for him, right? So the only question becomes, can he really take this thing the distance? He's not even close to Andy Cruz. Like, there's nothing he does. And any element of boxing that's even close to how good Andy Cruz is. If you can track him down, you can pummel him. He's not a hitter. He's not really gifted on the inside. Let's take a look at the odds. The only question becomes, does Andy Cruz stop him? And I think that depends more on Andy Cruz than it does. I got the wrong fight up again. I got to stop doing this. I think that is more in Cruz. Does Cruz step on the gas and stop him? Because he certainly can if he wants to. Where is it? Here it is. Sorry about that. So he was at Andy Cruz was at minus 10,000. Now I saw him at minus 8,000. Now I'm seeing him all the way down to minus 3,500 on the money line. I guess there's nothing anyone saw in Zamarepa that would make them move the line like that. It's just, I'm guessing. At minus 10,000, at minus 8,000, it's just not worth it to bet on Andy Cruz on the money line. So they had to move it down to try to get some action. Andy Cruz by TKO, KO, DQ, and over seven and a half. I like the late knockout. It also serves as a hedge, although I don't think we're going to need it. I think he stops him late. Uh, so... It's a simple bet for me. This is a one times bet here. And a half a bet here. So a $150 bet makes you $195. $194.44. It makes you $194. Well, it makes you $94. You're clear $194. So it's a pretty good bet on what it is. You can make that a, a full bet if you want to. I'm doing it like this. I'm not as confident at, in the seven and a half, although I do think it's a late stoppage. I, and it also serves as a hedge in case it goes the distance. You'll make half your money back. So it's 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 I, I don't think it goes the distance. I do think Andy Cruz stops and late. So I think this is safe. I really like Andy Cruz by KO, TKO, DQ. If you wanted to, if you really wanted to, you could make that a two times bet. I think it's safe. I think there's no way Zamarepa really goes the distance with them. 12 rounds. I don't see that happening. So I'm taking Andy Cruz by late stoppage, and, and this is what it looks like. It's going to make you, like I said, I'm doing this. It's going to make you $94 on a $150 bet. That's not bad considering how big of a favorite and how much of an outclassing this is. Let me know what you guys think.
Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, uh, 3D Boxing Blog, on all forms of social media. Like I said, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, showing you how to bring down the house, how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. I don't gamble, but if you do, I always use DraftKings as my book. It's a really good book. It's user-friendly. It's simple. It's easy to use. It's get, It gives you pretty good odds. Andy Cruz at minus 3,500 is not bad. Uh, I really like the, the knockout, the stoppage prop here. Also, subscribe to my Patreon. The link is in the description. Just $5 a month gets you the lock of the week, the T-shirt. It gets you all types of cool perks. Uh, and also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. From Texas, uh, it's uh, February 23rd. From Texas to the world, thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.